Today, we're going to be talking about an obscure piece of audio hardware in the GameCube used for memory access by the DSP. That's right, we're going to be talking about the DSP Accelerator. Emulating the DSP Accelerator correctly is extremely important because both the DSP HLE and DSP LLE rely on it for correct memory access. If it's wrong, switching DSP settings won't fix anything. And that's been the case for a few nasty audio bugs, particularly with games that use streaming audio. We're going to look at three cases, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, and Hikaru no Go 3. While more than these three games were affected, they show pretty much all the symptoms you would run into with Dolphin's flawed DSP accelerator behaviors. First up is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. The most common bug that users would complain about are random loud sounds. This is because Dolphin wasn't stopping reads correctly when it got to the end of a sound, and it'd keep reading into rubbish. Hey Harry, Fred and George have set up a shop. You can trade all kinds of things with them for spells and really wicked stuff. Wow, I must go and see them. Where are they? Go through that door and through the reading room. There's a portrait on the other side. What's the password? Pig snout. Oh, and watch out for Percy. He hates being disturbed when he's studying. You'll need to stay out of his way. If you're careful, you should be able to creep past him. I'm waiting for me. Come on. Hey Harry, Fred and George have set up a shop. You can trade all kinds of things with them for spells and really wicked stuff. Wow, I must go and see them. Where are they? Go through that door and through the reading room. There's a portrait on the other side. What's the password? Pig snout. Oh, and watch out for Percy. He hates being disturbed when he's studying. You'll need to stay out of his way. If you're careful, you should be able to creep past him. The Harry Potter GameCube titles all used a lot of streaming audio, so it's no surprise the sequel ran into more issues. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, however, runs into a much more common but less destructive variant of the bug. Instead of playing random audio, you'll just hear pops and crackles at the end of every single sound. Welcome to the burrow, Harry. You ready to do a bit of denoming then? <laughs> Welcome to the burrow, Harry. Last but not least, Hikaru no Go 3 is a Japanese exclusive game based on the show Hikaru no Go. Surprisingly, despite being an overseas exclusive, users were quick to report this game didn't work once new AXHLE was merged. The old HLE code was so broken and inaccurate that it actually managed to avoid the key problem in this game. Hikaru no Go 3 relies on the DSP to tell it when audio is done playing to stop lip-syncing animations, as well as allow the player to move on to the next screen. Because Dolphin wasn't actually stopping audio at the end of a non-looping voice, the game would hang indefinitely, waiting for the audio to stop playing. I'm <laughs>
私は藤原の際千年もの昔平安の都で大きみに囲碁を教えておりましたですがある騒動を機に都を追われる身となった私は While we showed three examples, any game that relies on the DSP stopping audio would have been affected by these deficiencies. Wii games also rely on the DSP accelerator. Two early Wii games, Far Cry Vengeance and Red Steel, had a bug in their sound libraries that caused audio not to play on Dolphin. On the Wii, an undocumented DSP accelerator quirk saved them. Turns out, even though Red Steel and Far Cry Vengeance feed in the wrong memory addresses, the DSP accelerator masks the addresses and it happens to end up correct. Emulating bugs is the hardest thing to do for Dolphin, and it took until 2017 to get these relaunch titles working. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time when we fix another obscure issue you probably didn't even know we had. Take it.